All right, man. So, want to do a song and a score? Yeah, let's All do right. that. Um, now, I think this is, again, not a huge surprise that a musical would actually do well in these categories. Um, but you have to remember, too, you have with original songs, um, these Disney movies like Moana, they're musicals. They really right. are. They're, they're big Hollywood musicals. They just happen to be animated. So... Uh, but City of Stars and the La La Land score, they're just, they're they are unbelievable, and they're so original. How awesome fun. was John Legend? Uh, Fantastic. On, on the, uh, yeah. it was, I loved it. I thought Dude, it was one I, of well, my favorite parts of the Oscars. I, was, I really liked what they did with the music, with the exception of I really wanted to see the rock sing live. That would have been so, great. <laughs> <laughs> he even addressed it. Right. <laughs> well, City of Stars, I'll say this too. For days after I saw La La Land, I was humming and singing that yes, song. Yes, exactly. Like I, th- th- mm-hmm. It just it was mm-hmm. it was and I love can't stop that feel can't uh, stop the feeling too. Yeah, right. That was great. Um, so all right, but original score again. It was La La Land. So you had mm-hmm. Jackie, Lion, Moonlight, and Passengers. And Wait, Passengers snuck into a couple categories. Yeah, totally right. Well, this is on. This is honestly, it's unfair because. Is anyone humming the Jack <laughs> or Moonlight? I saw Moonlight last night, and mm-hmm. I can't tell you. It's a fantastic mm-hmm. yeah. movie, right, but right. I wasn't like, oh, the score. Yeah. Um, but but again, was... isn't that where you're not another situation where you're not supposed to really notice it? I mean, it took me. Remember, I uh, remember disagree. the Social Network. I, I disagree. I think this is where um, I think the score and the song become part of the movie. Yeah. Like the way Cameron Crowe kind of integrates. Yeah. Uh, music as like a sec- uh, another uh, character. I agree. So, yeah, I, I, I can see mm-hmm. your point. But I, well, I always go back to Social Network, where I couldn't like, why am I so edgy? Why this guy's just eating? Mm-hmm. And it's just that that score to that, that, that Trent Reznor. Well, yeah. Uh, that, you that, know what I mean. And so. that's uh, and that's when music works best is when it can convey the mood almost subconsciously where yeah. you didn't even you weren't even aware of it so that's that's a really good score too mm-hmm. um so all right we're gonna do the last one best documentary let's do best doc <sighs> this was a Jeez. disappointment absolutely Fuck. i mean this the oj made in america is a compelling documentary mm-hmm. it does deal with it shows what was going on in America back then. It shows that it was more than just a tabloid thing. Right, it, right. It related to race and the police department. Mm-hmm. Sure. And, and celebrity. But you put that next to 13th or I'm Not Your Negro, and it's like, oof. Mm, yeah. Uh, you know, or even, you know, Life Animated. It's, it's, I was like, oh, really? Yeah. I was really disappointed in that. Well, you know, maybe it was just uh, the Academy's way of uh, going, all right, Netflix, slow down. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. (laughs) Stop kicking our asses. Um, But, yeah, I mean, I would... I would give Thirteenth or, or I'm Not Your Negro yeah. way way before OJ right. in a heartbeat. And and uh, OJ's good, and I recommend people watching it if they haven't seen it. But mm-hmm. like, and if you have four days, yeah, yeah. if you have four days. But then <laughs> I mean, you gotta watch. You know, in terms of, it's a TV it's a TV series mm-hmm. that they that they put in the movie theaters to right. get consideration, and and that to me, is. They shot it and cut it like a TV series. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 13th and these other movies, especially like... We're documentary feature films. Feature yes. films mm-hmm. that visually... Ava DuVernay does amazing stuff in terms of the transitions and the animation right. and I stuff like that. I completely agree with You know that. what I mean? It's like it was almost like it was repurposed to try to win an award. Yeah. You mm-hmm. just took a TV show and put it on the big screen for a week in LA mm-hmm. and New York. And while it's, com- it's compelling uh, story and information, which is what primarily a documentary is these other ones took the medium of the feature film to in into account right where this one didn't so yeah. I, that i was like Ugh. and it's sort of the safe it's sort of the safe race pick <laughs> you know what I mean? in the sense of, does that exist yeah is that... <laughs> well in the in the in the uh the white country club of the academy yeah, it yeah, does. Yeah, absolutely because if you want to address race and you're choosing between I'm not your Negro, which you do not want to face. Right. America, we talked about this. America, and specifically white America, does not want to have that conversation with themselves because that's what happens after that movie. You have to go home alone and go, wow. Why do yeah. you have to go alone? 
you got to be alone <laughs> <laughs> or, or whatever, or have it with who, or whomever your friends or family or spouse or whatever. Mm. It's, it's, it's a tough, it's a tough conversation. It's a tough conversation for any American to have, especially white America. Yeah. 13th is again, wow. There's this misuse of the law that's happening. There's this, and it, and it, and 13th is just one window into how broken our government is because our government has been bought up by corporate corporate uh, corp- corporations and organizations like Elec where OJ is like oh man that was tough that that happened in the past you know like it's it's <laughs> it's and as the guy says this when they put OJ in prison for 30 years for this the stealing the mm-hmm. stuff in Vegas the one guy goes oh this is white justice you know, they couldn't get him on these things. So, and I'm not, look. Well, to be fair, he didn't have to break into somebody's house and steal shit. No, right. Yeah. At no, gunpoint. No, he didn't. <laughs> right. But, but again, the one guy who's a lawyer says breaking and entering, this should be two years, three yeah. years right, at the right. most. And they yeah, gave yeah. him 30. Right. And again, I think he killed, I think he killed Nicole and Ron for sure. Absolutely. But he got off. And he got off using money and celebrity the way rich people get out of crimes in America, which yeah. is why the system right. is completely skewed. And then- so it's it's too it's too easy to nominate this movie. And plus, you got to think. Let's be honest. And I'm going with Kimmel's joke afterwards, which tanked in the room. It OJ was one of those guys in the audience. You know oh, what I mean? Is. He's on, he's on that level of Oscar. He lived he in Brentwood. He would have been there. He would have been there he probably. Was in Naked Gun. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean, like, if he, you know what I'm saying, he was a you know. So and that's, that's, part that's of why what, they were uptight yeah, with this joke. Yeah, that's why, and, and I was like, oh, God, that, that's why that room drives me nuts mm-hmm. when they get too uptight and shit There's like a that. lot of uptightness. I remember- I like clapped the, at that joke, and I, and I yelled, he, he killed two people. Yeah. Like, <laughs> it, was, it was Baptist Did the journalist tweet yeah, that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he killed two people. Like, Lighten up. I, what was the one, uh, I, I can't remember what year it was, but I think uh, Chris Rock was those. He was making a joke about um, how many movies Jude Law was in. Oh, and, and it was like he, it was like got so bent out of shape over uh, that. Really, Jude and then Sean Penn came in. Sean, yeah, he's one his, of our funniest. He's showing yeah, his he's great sense of humor. Yeah, oh his, my God. I so wish I wrote on that one because yeah. I would I would just like, hey, Sean, uh, sense of humor. You remember uh, Fast Times at Ridgemont High? Maybe yeah, you go it's revisit a joke. That. Maybe yeah. want to go revisit. Uh, and that. to our host, uh, I remember that he goes. And to our host, uh, Jude Law is one of our finest actors. Yes. Oh, like, come fuck on, you! You're the reason why everyone thinks you guys are jackasses. Yeah, yeah. Stop it. Yeah, stop it. God, he's making a joke about a guy that's getting a lot of work. Work. Yeah, how pompous horrible! Fuck bag. <laughs> and that's the thing. Like, uh, but, you call him a pompous fuck bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> love it. Yep. But that's the thing. That I would should s- be your production company name. Yeah, pompous, pompous fuck, fuck bag. bags. <laughs> PFB <laughs> <laughs> rolls off the tongue. <laughs> Slow five, a PFB production. Yeah. Oh man, Slow five. But yeah, anyway, if you haven't seen. Uh, 13th I'm not your Nico check them out and again like like we I haven't seen life animated I hear that's fantastic fire at sea looks really good as well mm-hmm. um they're all they're all mm-hmm. you know I mm-hmm. honestly OJ was the weakest of the five right, right. Mm-hmm. and the longest and the longest, longest. I said it's the one uh, documentary that's actually longer than the Academy Awards yeah <laughs> so. it's decent it's worth watching OJ if you haven't seen it but when you stack it up with these other ones right, you see right. why it's it, in my opinion it didn't mm-hmm. it didn't make it so yeah mm-hmm. That's our show. Good times. Yeah, that was fun. 